All right, going to do a little testing of the PC with the little damper system that I was showing uh, yesterday, the one that I prototyped. So here it is. I have changed the upper spring to a little bit of a longer one. The bottom one is the one from the PCO because I don't really want to have too much travel for the droop. And the top is fairly free to move. Uh, there is a bit of, of crunchiness from the, just the nature of the 3D printed prototyped parts that I have on at the moment, but it doesn't really change a lot. I am using my Twingo body because uh, this is the chassis that I've been um, testing parts with. I've been crash testing it a lot <laughs> with my son. I've been testing the rims and so on. And so now I'm going to have a look at the rear with the damper. So I drove it uh, without the damper this morning. The car is super quick, and super nimble, but it's very jumpy. Uh, mainly because the body as well is very tall and well I think the main difference on the on this track is less bumpiness at the rear but more oversteer as well so I'm not really sure in the conditions that I'm running here on the roof that oh it is much better there is a very let me show you. Over there, there is a very major jump usually. Over there. So the fact that the car is not jumping there, that's pretty amazing. But, the, um, yeah, for this, for the situation I have here, which is very peculiar to my rooftop, I don't know if lowering the droop and uh, and increasing the dampening is actually beneficial to the track time. It is very beneficial, I can tell, to the the car hopping around. But at the same time that I have gained a little bit of dampening at the rear, it seems to have increased my understeer quite a, a bit. So I'm not really sure here is a great place to test. Um, the performance, but right now what I want to see is mainly the functionality of the damper. Oopsie, that didn't happen. I just want to see that it's functional and that it's doing its job, and it is, I mean, maybe it's hard to see how bouncy the car usually is on the video, I'm not so sure. I don't tend to look at the, the videos in details when they're done, but for from the driving seats this is a lot more composed but I can tell as well that I have the feeling it's going to be slower around this track I uh, feel it's, it would probably be the opposite on an RCP on a flat carpet track uh, here it is easier to drive but I feel it's probably the fact that I've, I've lost the group at the rear, but now it is more, it is a lot more composed around the track. I need to try to figure out a way to make a, a video of the way the chassis behaves directly from the chassis point of view. I'm gonna to try to put my action cam on the chassis next time, even though it's gonna increase the weight a lot. I think it would be quite interesting to see all the moving parts in the car, especially in the front end, I have never been able to have a good look at it from up close. All right, so look, all I can say is that it is working better, I believe, than the damper tubes. So I'm going to keep working on that road and I'm going to design the parts in their final state and probably uh, I'm going to do an SLA set for it because that's going to allow me to do a very small MOQs and if the ABS uh, holds on a, a, you know battery and jumping and, and the bumpiness here the SLA will hold on very easily although it doesn't have the flexibility of the ABS springs um, this part is pretty rigid it's not going to flex that much 
So that would be easier for me as well to design some cool parts and some... It's gonna be a nice little set, I think. So that might be a good time as well for me to redesign the dampers, the tubes themselves, in order to use other, um, how do you say, the eyes, the eyelid at the ends, the ball ends that uh, I have done right now in SLA are a little bit rigid, so I've been thinking about redesigning the dampers with some other metal parts that I have, and then resin tubes. So, I will see. but. I'm pretty happy thus far with this dampening system. It is very homogeneous. It is going to be easy as well to tune up with just oil grease and spring tension. So this is going to be a good little add-on, I think, to the car. All right, so on that note, this is, by the way, my Mini Twingo hatchback, which is a super cool body to drive around. And I've just completed some light buckets downstairs so I'm going to do a new buddy with LEDs and new paint job for it something flashy but something for the night dryer all right so on that note everybody have a nice Sunday stay safe and sane and I will talk to you again soon bye bye